Hey there, in this video we're going to show you how to make an adjustment layer to fix the levels and create a good white balance in an image. Now for this one I'm going to return to my bridge and inside my bridge I should be able to find an image called beach.jpg. Make sure you're putting it into your resources folder downloaded from the site. So beach.jpg is a picture well of a beach. This is on the barrier islands of South Carolina and yes I know it's crooked you'll learn how to fix that in another video but what I want to do is work on the images white balance now the white balance is basically making sure that you have good brights and good darks it's balanced and right now this is kinda of washed out so there's a couple ways to do this the first way that people might have done in other versions of the application is through a regular adjustment image adjustments levels now, when you bring up the levels for this image, it will create this little, uh, it's like a, if you think about it as a graph, okay, uh, and it's going to show you the number of dark colors, middle tones, mid tones, and bright colors, highlights. So, when you have these uh, sliders, you look above them and you can kind of tell pretty quickly that this picture doesn't have any good whites, does it? And it doesn't have any good darks, does it? And just by looking at it, you know that to be true. Now, there's things you can do. You can adjust them manually, dragging the white dial in to hit that first peak, and dragging the dark dial in to hit where it begins as well. And that could fix it. I'm going to reset those. You can try doing the auto adjustment and eh, I'm not really happy with that because of the fact that it made everything look a little too blue for me but the truth is is that any adjustment you make in this way is a permanent destructive adjustment and we want to work in non-destructive ways as much as possible so let me show you how to do that we can create adjustment layers layers that don't alter the original background layer but instead change the way it's viewed. The way you do that is down here at the bottom of the layers panel. There's this little black and white circle and you see that there's a levels adjustment. It's just like that it was over here on the layer, I'm, I'm sorry, under the image menu, right? It's the same exact things. Let me just bring that up again here. Image adjustments. And you see all these little things are the same. Well over here the same things, right? This time though, this is going to create an adjustment layer. Something that can be turned off and turned on whenever we need to. Or even make it less uh, potent of an adjustment. So, I suggest that whenever you're trying to check out one of your pictures that you take, you need to adjust using adjustment layers. Create this uh, levels adjustment is probably one of the first things you're going to do. And I'm going to just go ahead and take in my white and take in my dark. Now if you thought that you were losing some things in the middle you can adjust the middle number over and you see how that's going to alter your image okay I'm gonna leave it at one and I'm I'm pretty happy with this and if I go ahead and click off of it I want you to understand that this has not affected the original layer if I turn off the levels layers I and end up ends up showing you the original picture. So this ends up being a, a pretty quick and non-destructive way to fix the color of your picture. Now with this being said this is probably where you'd stop in most images but let's say you wanted to change the way it looks a little further. Uh, I'm gonna create a second adjustment levels and this one is going to be different. I'm gonna call it I'm gonna call it zombie. <laughs> All right because this one here I'm going to adjust individual colors okay so I'm going to change this RGB to uh, let's see green and I'm going to take the green in and you see how that ends up taking green away if you think about it right and let's see I want to move yeah and I'm going to do the same thing with blue yeah and you can see how that's changing the the way the image looks. I want to see if I can make it a little zombie-ish, if you will. So, yeah. 
So this is starting to look like it's going to be a zombie film, something. The monsters are going to come out from nowhere. So you can create some custom coloring to create a mood in an image by adjusting these levels individually in their individual channels. Uh, you can always turn it off if you don't like it and return to the original one. Doesn't matter. When you're done, I want you to go ahead and save this into your chapter one folder in the right name as a PSD.